honest, my customers don't want to get emails from me. Excellent. My customers so, are going to be upset if I send them an email. Yep. Excellent. So therefore don't send that customer an email. All the emails, any system you're using should have the ability for them to unsubscribe. If they don't want to and check and go on your mailing list, you're not trying to push it. You're offering it. Most people knowing that you're going to send, you know, 20% off coupons or free French fries or special experience, just knowing that you have a tips newsletter where they get goodies and they're part of the VIP club, it's enough for them to just say, yeah, of course. They're in your restaurant. A repeat customer is more likely to say yes. A new customer is not sure if they like the experience, but they may say no for a now. And then when they come back again, you ask the question again. You know, Once they've your, had a good experience, they're likely to say yes. In your book that you wrote, uh, you wrote a, a chapter about restaurants and a local restaurant that uh, collected data. And you, yeah. you came up with a number that each piece of data was worth yeah. in, uh, as a restaurant owner. So each piece of data that you collect will earn you on average, okay, and this is even if it's just a, a little piece of paper that they filled in when they're in your restaurant or joining your newsletter, each piece of data that you collect will average out to increasing your sales above where they are today before you started collecting data, $26.67 a year in annual sales. That's a piece of data. So if you had 4,000 people on your list, you would increase your sales by 4,000 people times 26.67. The math is, overwhelmingly in favor of collecting and utilizing your data and in the old world restaurants oh i'm about the experience the people come back because of my staff all of the things that don't happen anymore therefore the new reality is you need your data right and, it's and not how many hard. times uh, the right system does it automatically for you they, they, they sent you an automatic email you subscribe to a mailing list when you first went in and they'd send you out an email on sunday night or monday morning with their 9.99 pictures when they can oh, see 9 man. pictures Got us every time. We go for those 999 pictures because of that email reminder. You know, I looked at it as it, it, it saved my marriage, right? Because it, you know, it always happens. Oh, what are we going to do tomorrow night? Well, I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Why don't you ever make a decision? Well, why don't you ever make a decision? Whoa. Hey, email from restaurant offering 999 pictures. Hey, how about we go there for, for, for some beer and appetizers tomorrow? Oh, that's a great idea. Problem solved. No yeah. more argument of where are we going to go? because and that eventually turned into a push notification where it was like oh hey look i just got that thing maybe we should go tomorrow oh just it de-stresses your relationship you don't have the argument well what do you want to eat well i don't know what do you want to eat and right now that'll way. actually generate you a additional 15 percent. a simple completely automated email meaning thanks for coming to the restaurant yesterday how was it a week later thanks for coming a week ago would you like to come back? Click here to make a reservation or click here to whatever, right? Or we're gonna give you something if you come back. I wouldn't at a week later, I would just invite them back. And by inviting them back, you created marital bliss. And you got a customer to come and eat with you again. Or you could offer them your takeout or you could offer them your take and bait. Sales increase of 15% with a simple email that is set up once and it just happens. Right.